I could be a general, right? Maybe I won't give orders like, go in and pow-pow them. But, you know, I'm the best around. I'm going to say France. What's going on, everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. And today, we're returning to Total Tank Simulator. Now, I think by the time this video goes out, the game is out in early access for you guys and gals to, to purchase if you, if you want to. Uh, I was sent this a little bit early. As you've seen, I've, I've released a couple of videos uh, previously playing through part of the Russian campaign and part of the German campaign. But today, we're going to try and win the French campaign, or at least part of it, hopefully. Uh, so, another great thing about France is that they're a land defensive faction. Whenever I play strategy games, I generally like to turtle. I'm an extremely defensive player. On Age of Empires, I'll always just build like a castle and, and kind of like turtle myself in. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to giving France a try. But of course, if you would like to see more Total Tank Simulator, comment, like, and subscribe. It's just a great, fun game. It doesn't take itself too seriously uh, from the fact that there is artillery bears, if you play as Russia. <laughs> For example, here you have a bear, uh, and this is what the said bears look like. Pretty freaking sweet. And there's apparently an anti-tank dog. Oh my god, no, you can't use floofers in battle. Surely not. Oh no. Oh no, they explode! Oh my god, look at the size of that German tank. Anyway, anyway, we're not we're not doing custom battles today. I may have to do some uh, in the future though, because <laughs> that looks freaking awesome. Uh, but yes, we're going to be doing the French campaign. I just wanted to show you... The game, although although set in history, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Although, you know, World War II is an extremely serious topic, I think that it's okay to make kind of a light-hearted, fun game on it and have it just for entertainment value. So we'll get... Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm getting too deep into... Stuff. Let's go in as France! Yeah! They're a land defensive faction. They're focused on military fortifications such as bunkers, pillboxes, etc. They also have cheaper and more powerful artillery and anti-tank cannons. Uh, we'll be doing the dial plan so the Germans launch their aggression against France through the Low Countries and then they bypass the Imagine No! The French try to stop the offensive on the Dial River. Let's see if we can do it, eh? Act 1. France. Here we go. Oh, I believe that's probably Charles de Gaulle. It's actually in French. This is a defensive act. During each phase, you will try and defend from invading forces while retreating. This phase can be fought or skipped. Oh, so I could just skip everything and win, I presume? That'd be nice. Oh, you have to complete them. Okay, um, I am a sous-lieutenant Alex Le Rambelier. I apologise for my accent already. Um, my bad. I could, I could spend some money on some officers. Why not, actually? Um, so, you can stick officers in the maps and it, and it helps you. Uh, actually, let's give him a little jeep car. Do you want to buy jeep willies? Oh, I would like to buy a jeep will. I think that my my goatee is just getting thicker and thicker, isn't it? Oh, embrace the power of the goatee. It compels you, as I've already said, to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I I'm probably going to save the rest of my money, maybe, because we need to spend it on the battlefield. Um, these are the current units that we currently have unlocked. If I just move my face out of the way so I'm not always in the way. We do have mines. We've got some uh, pan H's. We've got some light tanks. We do also have a bunker, which, which might be helpful. We also have some pillboxes and a nest, which comes with a They both come with machine guns. So, yeah, I'm going to be fighting very defensively, which I, which I like. Uh, we'll be fighting first in Liege. We have an 8,000 cash limit, cash money, to try and hold off the German threat. Mm. And if we win, we get 14,000 and a nice amount of research points. Yep. There's the Luftwaffe. Kill all the enemies to win the battle. And they have quite a large air force, so we're going to need some anti-aircraft guns. Ooh, the French campaign might actually be very difficult. Have to see how we get on. I, I, I so far have been quite successful in the previous two videos. Um, thumbnails on screen now. Boom! I'll try and remember to link them in the description if you want to see more. Oh no, it'll be in that little card thing over over in the top part of the screen, right? I know how to YouTube. It doesn't seem like I do sometimes, but... Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of anti-tank, a lot of anti-aircraft. I'm going to have like a bit of a minefield going on. 
to begin with. I will have to have some fighter planes because I don't have any anti-aircraft guns at the moment. Okay, um, we'll have some bunkers set up as well along with some pillbox bunkers, a couple of nest bunkers as well, some light tanks coming up from the rear. Probably have to have some artillery in the in the back as well. And that's it. I, I've spent all of my money. Oh dear. I would have liked some infantry. That's it. Okay, I don't I think this is mm, gonna be very difficult. Let's let's begin and see how we get on. Bunkers, you may fire when ready. Okay, so in the skies, I think I overwhelmed them slightly, which is nice. In terms of my bunkers, I'm not sure how they're doing. Uh it appears a lot of them have been absolutely destroyed, but yes, okay, we've got air of superiority. And then they're coming into the minefields. Oh no, they're not even able to. Ha ha! Okay, that plan's working, kind of. And we can kind of see the areas where the Germans still have troops in. We have our artillerymen there. You may fire when ready. Uh, the German infantry marching forward. Oh, they have flamethrower troops as well. Mm. Oh my god! Why is that tank doing stunts? Jeez. Okay, we might actually have this battle in the bag. So we actually won that one fairly easily. All enemy units are dead. Uh, that was that went that went better than I expected. Air superiority, just if FYI, just as it is in Hearts of Iron 4, very key, it seems. Very key indeed. We only lost 41 units and we only deployed 78. No, 35. Oh. I'm the best around. I'm gonna say for a hunts. Okay, now if I go into the tech tree, I should probably try and see if I can unlock some... Is that an anti-tank? Yeah, so Hotchkiss. Boom! Um, I'm gonna save up and unlock the Maginot line. Look at that bad boy. Oh, I do love a nice mighty bunker. Oh, mm, yeah, maybe some anti-aircraft guns too. So far, I'm doing alright. Uh, we're now going to be doing Lil. And it looks like... They're going to have a fair amount of aircraft and tanks, but not many infantry. So me investing in anti-tank and anti-air might come in handy. <laughs> I do love, like, indie games like this. It's just it's just it's such a breath of air. Bre breath of air? A, 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 such a fresh breath of air sometimes. Just to have a new experience. I know I know this um, was... Didn't it have, like, a an alpha or a beta uh, a few years ago? But it seems like they've done a heck of a lot of work since then. Okay, so we can only deploy i believe in this area so we're going to be being attacked on all sides looks like the first wave of germans focuses in on medium tanks so i'm going to set up a few um minefields where they're going to be coming in from i'm going to deploy on this side of the river so at least in the first wave we'll have the advantage uh, uh, over there it might be not a great idea for me to deploy them all all in one area uh i'll just have to see how that works i Let's have a couple of pillboxes to slow them down. Maybe a couple more anti-air guns. Ooh, it's really um, kind of, you never really know how things are going to go. Uh, maybe a couple of chonky bunkers, and then we just need some fodder. Always need some fodder. Okay, wave one, begin. So we have all of the shots going off. I really wish my tanks hadn't have driven through the <laughs> the mines that I laid down. Oh, come off it, mate. Okay, so they're all. Perishing. Maybe they're not actually setting them off. I don't know. But we survived wave two, but a lot of my troops have all, um, unfortunately, fallen. Uh, the anti-aircraft guns appear to be doing a decent job. Oh no, it's crashing into my... Ah! Just seeing where we have any German troops, and I think it's just in the air. And a few troops over here. So we're now in the final wave. You can see them all coming in. But I do have my defensive formation over here. My anti-tank guns should be firing. They do have a few units of infantry which are getting just sniped from the church. It's even Stevens at the moment. Oh, let's see if they go through the minefields. Boom! Oh, they caused basically uh, no damage. Oh, but they got pinned, which then leads my anti-tank guns to go like pow pow. I could be a general, right? Maybe I won't give orders like go in and pow pow them. But, you know. Yeah, the amount of defenses that I have over this river really are going in my favor so anyone that approaches the river line to try and cross oh yeah they're just getting pounded get pounded with me big guns son how many bullets have this has this guy dodged now oh my gosh oh yes run into the oh light tanks versus infantry i think i'll have the advantage now oh okay we can just run the germans over too i like that action ramming boom so we retained aerial superiority uh with a defensive line over the, well, I say river, the lake, we managed to win. Noish. So I think I have enough research to unlock 
the Maginot line. It it has an AA gun, machine gun, two artillery cannons, and a machine gun. Oh, baby. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. That looks chonky. Okay, so now we have a choice. We could either go to Amiens or Rems. Uh, that's a deathmatch. I'll try and protect the VIP, I guess. These are kind of my least favourite missions in any game. No one, no one likes escort missions, even in a strategy game. Okay, just gonna say it. Just gonna say it. And if you do, for some reason, enjoy escort missions, what the heck is wrong with you? Okay, I'll win the battle if at least one of my VIP survives. Well, what if I just built the Maginot line? I'm going to see if this works. So the Maginot line with some aircraft and then I guess a few bog standard infantry in amongst the... There we go. I have... Um, I, I am almost guaranteed to lose this, I think. But this is quite the chonky boy. So let's just... <laughs> I think I might lose this battle. But I just wanted to see what the Maginot line can do. Uh, apparently it's quite effective. And we're trapping the VIPs. Good. No, don't climb over the Maginot line. You meant to go around it. Uh, that went very, very well. Oh my goodly goo. So there are pockets of resistance still there. Oh yeah, you can see a lot of the Maginot line has been uh, destroyed. I don't remember deploying any light tanks, but hey, I'll take it. And then there's just a unit of artillery left. So overall... The Maginot line really managed to... Oh! We have a HQ which I think just deploys tanks. Didn't realise that. Wow. Okay. So the Maginot line seems to be an effective uh, defensive platform. Huh. Maybe maybe they should have extended it across the Belgian border. Unlock some medium tanks. Do I really care about an officer light tank? No. Okay, so now we just have a full-on death match. They will have a bit of artillery, a lot of aircraft. Okay, let's let us begin. This is going really nicely. I might just create Maginot lines across the whole world. The Maginot. It's the Maginot with a bad habit. Bad habit for destruction. No, that's cringe. Sorry. Okay, first a couple of thousand on aircraft to help combat them. Then we do just go for some Maginots, even though they cost 1,100. I'm only going to have like four or five of them this time. Boom. 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 And then some light tanks right at the start to make sure that, you know, uh, our units have a decent chance. Well, the Maginot line has a decent chance of firing off their massive loads. Okay, let us begin. Fire away, Maginot. Fire away. The amount of destruction that these artillery guns seem to do to the Germans is, is quite astounding. And then if I can win in the sky all the better for me. It's not as clear cut who's winning at this time. Oh my god, what are these artillery guns that they have? Oh, the Nebelwerfers. Okay, so we still have a couple of Maginot platforms firing, and that's going to be my only chance to win, I believe. Now, I haven't really taken command of anyone. It's best if I don't. It's just a waste of a unit, to be honest. I'm not sure what the deal is if we, if we can't actually destroy each other, because I don't have any units left that can take out their artillery. It appears my air force was destroyed, as was theirs, so I don't know what to do now. Yep, so we can defeat the infantry coming at us no problem. It is just the fact that I can't take down these couple of bits of artillery. Oh, they're trying to come in from here. Never mind, we won. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem when both sides just have artillery left and apparently they're not in range. There's not really anything I can do, um, so I think I'm just going to lose the battle because of the timeout. Surely the artillery should have... A longer range like it, it should be able to reach the flags oh it's an aa cannon oh maybe the actual artillery bits are actually uh, destroyed oh i see so i'm neutralized okay well balls well we lost via timeout in my opinion that should be their german loss because they failed at their blitzkrieg but whatever okay uh i don't know if i get a choice between we've got two final situations i don't know if we do both of them but i might do the Paris one and it's just tanks hmm okay okay survive all waves you can only see the first enemy wave in front of you right now but I think it is just tanks we're trying to defend Paris this doesn't look like Paris <laughs> but hey ho <laughs> I, I don't know if going down the Maginot route is is this is the most sensible idea but I spent half my budget on it so we're going with it lots of aircraft I might get some anti-tank I don't think this is a good strategy at all but it's not like they saved Paris in real life, is it? So, 
yeah, a lot of the Magno Lion just gets blown up right away. They've, they, uh, maybe they're not OP. They might just be a waste of money. Oh, and they've got Neverworth as again. Yeah, there's not really much I can do against them. They seem OP as heck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they just blew up the entire Magno. I thought they were meant to be extremely inaccurate. I've messed up. Next time, tanks. Lots and lots of tanks, I think. So we're on wave three, but it, it does seem like all of the Magno line defenses have been destroyed. Paris will probably fall. Oh no, we still have one turret still standing. <laughs> and a little machine gun nest. Fire away, little fella. Fire away. Oh dear. And the machine gun's actually running out of ammo, not causing any damage to the rocket truck. Is it possible I could still win this? No idea. Can I take command of this fella? <laughs> Please. Go on, hunt him down, sir. Go on, get him. Oh, yeah. Is he like the, the, the final Frenchman? Could go either way now. <gasps> he is. He's the last one. Oh, my goodly goo. I'd take command of him, but I would definitely lose then. Oh, never mind. Looks like he's going to die. Okay, I'm going to do it. I may regret this. No! Oh. Oh, I have a teammate. He's he's helping me. All right. Move out, soldier. Okay, I'll, I'll act as the distraction, shall I? I think he was up on the roof before, wasn't he? Oh! Yeah, this is the final. Did I do it? Oh my god. Nice. We did it. Uh, barely. That is not a victory by any any means. Well, do you know what? No, a victory is a victory. I won. Okay, the last one is to kill the VIP. I might just do a couple more tech things. Mobile artillery, you say? Look at that chonker. Okay, so we need to kill all the VIPs. They have a lot of tanks. Mobile artillery. Uh, let's get some fighter bombers. Just a couple of Maginot line bunkers this time. Just just like what a couple right at the front so they absorb some of the fire of all of those tanks to begin with. Let's see if we can take out the VIP. So I've got a load of fighter bombers. I have a couple of Maginot lines, loads of medium tanks, loads of mobile artillery. However, the mobile artillery doesn't appear to be doing too much, which is a bit of a problem. Maybe they were just going back into their firing positions, I'm hoping. Because the Maginot lines, these, these like Neverworthers are just, are just really, really... Oi. Oh, okay. No, we've actually defeated most of the German force. Having area superiority is, as I have to reinforce, is key, it seems. Wow, that was easy. All right. Um, nice. Don't build Maginot lines everywhere ladies and gents. That's the key thing that we can take from this. Yeah, we've got a major victory. Look at that. But yeah, if you enjoyed seeing more Total Take Simulator, comment, like, and subscribe. If you want me to do other campaigns or continue the French one, do let me know. And I'll be back very soon. I just got a promotion to Commandant. <laughs> Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Fat Boston, Zechariah Mosby, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Dave the Don, Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goosey Dibs, Yeah Boy, Wombat Cookie, Dad Falcon, Ryan Koch, Jack Troku, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!